Hey, all you Animal House radio fans, joining us tonight in the 9 o'clock hour is the lovely and talented actress-comedian Stephanie Courtney, who you know lovingly as Flo, the crazy progressive lady, and she's going to tell us all about how she got the role of Flo, how she got started in comedy and acting, and so much more. And it all happens right here, right now, on Animal House Radio. Stations are tuned in to five, five, four, four, three, three, two, one, 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 one. We have ignition. Strap in. You're about to listen to the Animal House. You are nothing but an animal. The mother's an animal. Show your food. You're an animal. Keep the change, you filthy animal. They're animals anyway, so let them move their souls. I am not an animal. You are an animal. We are all animals, my lady. I'm not an animal! What do you care? You're an animal. You're an animal. Yeah. yeah. I'm an animal! Yeah. <laughs> animal! <laughs> Atomic batteries to power. Turbines to speed. I feel the need. The need for speed. Screaming speed! The opinions expressed by the hosts, callers, and guests are not those of Animal House Radio. Some of the material broadcast on Animal House Radio may not be suitable for listeners under the age of 18. Listener discretion is advised. Hello, this is Kelsey Grammer. Hi, this is Katie Segal. Hi, this is Joe Elliott. Hey, it's Rick Springfield. Hey, this is Tommy Chung. Hi, this is Carol Burdett. All right, everybody, listen up. This is Dee Snyder from Twisted Sisters, Frames Land, Celebrity Apprentice. Yeah, you know me. And you're listening to Animal House Radio. Hey, this is Larry the Cable Guy, and you're listening to the Animal House Radio Show. And if you're not listening to it, then leave the country. You're a communist. This is a good show right here. Get it up. Hi, Stephanie. Hello. Hi there. How you doing? Hi, how are you? All right everybody it is nine o'clock uh here on the animal house radio show we got an extra special guest on the line joining us now is a comedian actress uh people know her as stephanie courtney but we know her lovingly as Flo from progressive please welcome stephanie courtney yeah Yay. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, Hello. how are you i'm all right how are you guys doing uh, we're doing great i just want to tell you that it's a, an honor to be talking yeah, to you it's pretty uh, cool actually yeah i enjoy uh you. Watching your movies, I loved you in Blades of Glory, uh, on Mad Men, and uh, and especially seeing the the commercials on TV. It's it's so you're just oh. a character and a half. Did they make Did they make like one a month? Oh. It seems like they make so many. I mean, how, how many? She's part of our them? family at this point. <laughs> how often do they do new ones? Uh, oh. Steph? How many have we done? No, no. How often do they do new ones? Because it seems like there's always new ones almost every couple of weeks. Yeah. It seems like. Um, every couple of months we shoot about five to seven. I oh, guess. okay. Okay. And um, yeah, and um, when we shot them in the superstore, when we shot them in that big white store, we we could knock them out real quick because we got really good at like sort of doing the same sort of template again and again. But now they're out in the world, and I'm in makeup, and I'm on wires, and I'm <laughs> in the ocean, and like there's all sorts of crazy stuff. So yeah, so it could take like maybe two days to shoot one or right. two shoot, you know, shoot two in one day. So yeah, we do about um, like five to seven every two to three months. Wow, oh, wow. Isn't That's it, good though. It's good that way. Yeah. Is, is that true shot. that you, um, f- I mean, you've been doing this about eight years now? Ten. Ten years. Wow. You, there's almost a hundred of those um, already? There's got to be at least. Right? There is a question that everybody no. wants to know. Do you have progressive? I, have, <laughs> I do. Okay. I do. And another thing, I, I pay for it. I pay uh, for it. No. Uh, we got to renegotiate your Contract. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have. I should have asked for a better deal. Huh? Absolutely. But um, I think like legally, it's not like everyone sort of pays into the insurance pot. So I don't know how fair it would be if I like just got oh. it for free. So yeah. <laughs> so funny. yes, I do, and I pay the same everyone else does. So yeah. that. The truth. I'll tell you what, Stephanie. <laughs> the my favorite one is when you did the one like Eddie Murphy did and played all the characters and <laughs> the yeah, you know, yeah. your family. Oh my gosh, that, that was so much fun. That must have been hard though <laughs> to go was... from character to character like that. Well, I'll tell you, it takes about like two hours to do the makeups between those characters. Right. Oh boy! So and it's the guys the, who do all the Star Trek movies and do all like all that stuff. Those are the guys who do my makeup. Right. Um, a guy named uh, Oh my gosh. They're so amazing. So it takes, like, two hours to do the makeup. So, like, the entire crew goes to the mall, and they, like, buy Frisbees and stuff, and they're, like, playing in the grass while I'm, while I'm trying to That's stay awake so in the funny. chair. So, oh. 
So by the time I play the second character, it has been a while, you know? Oh, and wow. you look so different. Every single, like, department, like, the camera department is, like, stretched thin. They have six cameras set up around the table. Like, it's really cool. It's like every department's working so hard. And then, you know, you get into the groove of it, and, and it's about 45 minutes of shooting. And then I'm, I'm acting with, like, sort of um, tape, like, X's made out of tape on, on tennis balls. You know, like, that's the eye line I have. It's really fun. Oh wow. That is fun. Well you started out as a as a comedian. Are you still doing stand up? Yeah, you still do stand up? I am not doing stand up so much. I did stand up in New York in like back in like ninety six. Oh okay. wow. Um don't do the math with the don't do the math with the years <laughs> and my age no I'm like hey. Um <laughs> but back in ninety six I did stand up and then my now manager saw me doing stand up back then and said, If you want a manager, move to LA and at that point I was so broke and I was so you know, I had catered so much and I was like, Yes. Yeah, I will move to L.A. You know, right, I have this right. um, I have this manager. I'll go. And so I was doing stand-up out here and with, like, incredible people that are now, you know, headliners and famous and all that wonderful stuff. And and I was fine. I, I, I did a I, – every couple of nights I'd be like, woo, that was really great. And then I saw a show at the Groundlings Theater, which is sketch comedy and improv, improvisational right. comedy. Yes. Right. And that's when I was like – Oh, I'm like that. That was like this aha moment, and I'm like, I signed up for classes the next day, and um, and that's sort of where my heart is. I love being on stage, looking into someone else's eyes, and sort of be, being a character, making right. up situations. That's much more my uh, groove right. than stand up ever was. But but I bow down to people who can make stand up an art form and like move the whole medium forward. Like that that is, you know, I look at like Pat Oswalt or Maria Bamford or something, and I'm just like, yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> right, oh, yeah. right. That's well, the, how it's done. Well, the, um, so the, yeah, so that was my stand-up. The Groundlings is a, a legendary place, and it's like an all-star cast yeah, of, people of people who have been in there, that company. Yeah. yeah. So many people, um, people that you would know from way back. Uh, Lorraine Newman was in the first cast of Saturday Night Live, and they got her from the Groundlings. Oh, right. And wow. she still like will come and do shows. She's amazing. She still like will show up and, and support our shows and everything. And then uh, other people are Phil Hartman. Um, right, right. Oh, gosh. I'm, Paul, Paul somebody, Rubens. Uh, Sherry, Paul Rubens. Uh, Paul Rubens, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Um, Sherry O'Terry and Will Ferrell. Oh, and wow. And from my group, the people that I sort of was in the company with, mm -hmm. uh, Melissa McCarthy right. and Kristen Wiig and Annie Momolo, who also wrote Bridesmaids with Kristen. Yeah. And... Um, and Mikey Day, who's on SNL now, my friend Kent Sublet, who I took every level with, is now one of the head writers at SNL. Oh, wow. It's so great. Like, these, these people are just, they're so much fun. They become your second family. We all, like, half of us wind up marrying someone we met there. <laughs> um, you know, like, you just, and it's this, this amazing, yeah, it's just like this amazing family that, uh, that's your comedy family. Well, uh, Stephanie, when you were doing comedy, um, who, who was your influences when you started well, SNL was, like, sort of the only game in town for me when I was, you know, growing up as far as, like, characters. And I think Jan Hooks and, um, oh, my gosh, don't blank on the name, but the one who did the Sweeney Sisters with her. Um, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I've got to think of it. Is yeah, it? exactly. Those two <laughs> ladies I love. And it's Phil Hartman. Um, oh, oh yeah. my gosh. They, yeah. Anyone that could, like, disappear into a character, I right. went crazy for it. Like, um, and, uh, oh, gosh, who's the one who did the Ed Grimley Oh, Martin Short? Martin Short's a genius. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. Martin. and not, not that like they're obscure. It's just that I'm going through brain freeze right now because there's so many names I want to mention. But um, mm, right. Martin Short, uh, Jan Hooks, um, yeah. yeah, all those like character people I couldn't get enough of. They were just amazing. Oh, and then wow. Kids in the Hall, Mark McKinney, especially he, just because his thing, his love was mm. just characters. He, and, and not only that, he would play these crazy broken people, but you could tell that the actor behind them loved these people. Right. Like, yeah. no matter how crazy they were right. or how, like, they ruined their own lives, he absolutely loved them. And that's, that's like, what I totally hook into. Right. So, now, you you said you were doing stand-up in 1996, and then you said, your manager said, if you want to manage, you got to come to L.A., and then you, you, you transitioned into, like, acting? No, I was always doing the acting thing. I mean, I've been doing plays since I was a little thing. Anywhere there was a school play happening, I was I was in it. Right. And then, uh, same with college. I was an English major, but I, I, you know, basically did enough credits, but mainly I was just doing plays a, a ton. And then I had an acting teacher who told me to go to an acting school that he thought would be good for me called the Neighborhood Playhouse. And that was just like, you just are 
in it. You're just right. nine to five. You're taking classes, and that's awesome. And then I catered and I did plays for no money, and I was just broke and broker and brokest. Yeah, wow. And um, and then I started doing stand up. A friend of mine from the neighborhood playhouse, um, Lauren, she had a show. She was doing stand up, and I'd seen her a couple of times. And I remember seeing her do a show in a coffee shop, and seeing Zach Galifianakis go up. Oh and, wow! And just yeah. tell the funniest jokes. And I was like, who is this guy? Like, he's hilarious, you know? <laughs> so um, she was like, I dare you to do stand-up. She's like, I'm going to do a show where it's my friends who have never done stand-up, but I think they should, and that's my show. Um, and it felt really natural. It felt really good. And then I started doing stand-up there, and then, like, six months later, that's when my manager saw me, and she oh, wow. said, move to L.A. Oh, wow. The so, way you're from Long so, Island? Are you from Long Island originally or from upstate New York? No, no. I'm from Rockland County. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, and, now you went uh, now yeah, you know what that is, right? Yes. Um, and I love, well, I have cousins from, um, I have cousins from Westbury. My brother-in-law is from yeah. Bayshore. Yeah, oh, wow. So okay. we have a lot of, yeah, so I have a lot of uh, Long Island connections. And, right. um, I, and I loved L-I-R-R. We would always try to get your radio station. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, are you there? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and we would like, sometimes we'd get it and sometimes we wouldn't, but it was like all the, like Long Island people knew the coolest music and we were all like, Oh wow. Please. <laughs> make us a mixtape. Mix oh my That's god! Funny. When it came to the, uh, the the commercial, was that something that you auditioned for? Or they they sought you out for it. No, 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 no. I auditioned for it. I was, um, you know, you, when you're auditioning for commercials out here, you basically like you have like an office jacket in the trunk of your car, a polo shirt, a lab coat, <laughs> a cardigan. Like you've got these four things. You wear like a tank top and jeans, and then you have like these four things that you could throw on. Like, on right. <laughs> for different things. Right. Oh, wow. So I was like, okay, like this is a girl in a big box store, and so I'll put on my, my navy blue, like, uh, you know, polo shirt with an oil stain on it and, you know, just put my hair in a ponytail and go. <laughs> and um, and the first audition was really super dry. It was just like, okay, you're just going to, like, say these things to the customer, put things on the shelf, something at the end if you want, you know. Yeah. And then the other audition was really fun because I was sitting between two friends, one of my friends from stand-up and one of my friends like improv right and we were all joking we're like hey whoever gets this buy this thing for the other two ha ha see you and <laughs> they're both like you owe me a drink girl like, <laughs> you owe me way more than a drink like, oh my god so um it was yeah it was it was just an audition it was crazy yeah. You know what I like, though? Um, I, I did a little research I was reading up. Uh, um, they pretty much give you a lot of leeway to improv with the character. Now that I see that character flow, I can't see anybody else pulling yeah, it exactly. off. And okay. you know how you... you not, uh, even, not even the fact that it, it, it blew up, but you know how you know you made it, Stephanie, is when they make a Halloween costume after <laughs> you. Then you know you've made it. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like my favorite thing about this whole experience. Like, just like seeing pictures of kids, you know? Right. Oh you know what's going to happen? Let me see. I, I can tell you what's going to happen right now, Stephanie. You're going to wind up getting conventions like Star Trek. And, and she'll gonna, have Barbie and You're going to have your own Trekkies. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. You're going to call them Flobies. <laughs> We have a question from one of our listeners. They want to know who would win in a flight, Flo or the uh, the Geico Gecko? <laughs> I I got a I get a five spot on Flo. <laughs> so uh, now th th I I also read somewhere, Stephanie, that the the your the character was loosely based on your mother, or your sort of. For me, yeah, it was, because when you show up and they're like, okay, you know, they wanted the character, like, make her quirkier, but really friendly, like, she loves everyone, and that is so my mom, like, my mom would be, like, on the, you know, it's me and my two sisters at home, and she'd be, like, you know, <laughs> yelling at us and stuff, like, you stop it now, you stop fighting, and then she'd pick up the phone and be like, hello, hello. <laughs> she was just like, you know, like, like Snow White, you know, when she was, like, presenting herself to, to the neighborhood or whatever. Um, but so I, I like that where she's like, um, you know, you, you would try to get her to say something about someone and she's just like, well, I'm sure their mother's very nice. So that <laughs> was sort of her, her personality. Right. That's funny. Um, <laughs> Stephanie, when it comes to the writing of the commercials, do you, ha did they give you any input to, uh, to get any kind of leeway on that? Not, not really. Cause they get these writers. There's, um, 
they're so good. They, the ad agency is based out of Boston, and so they'll go and they'll find these great up-and-coming comics from, you know, stand-up and improv and, and from Twitter even, and, and they'll just find these people, and they're so darn funny that, especially these, because I think the first few years, everyone was figuring out what this campaign is because it was brand new, you know what right. I mean? They, you know, they were discovering sort of how I work and, and what they needed. Right. And now that they know the character so well that we can play with the character a little bit. And now they've got these really funny writers and I'll show up and just be like, oh my gosh, yeah, let's shoot this. And then if there's time or if there's something that's um, inspired, you know, um, I could come up with something, the other actor or like my director is really funny and he can come up with stuff and the writers always come up with stuff. So it's a big sort of group effort. But right now the, the scripts I get are so funny that it's like pretty much let's just shoot what we got here. You know, right, right, right. Now, what do you uh, what else do you have? You're working on anything else, uh, uh, projects, movies or anything? <clears throat> Yeah, well, my friend, when, who's another groundling, Wendy McClendon Covey, if you remember, in, well, she's the lead of the Goldbergs. Oh, uh, okay, all right, so, yeah. Yeah, so she plays Beverly Goldberg, and she was in Bridesmaids, and she's, oh, she was also in Reno 911. She was Clementine. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Now I know you're talking about. Okay. So she's, like, the, one of the best. She's so funny. She's one of the best improvisers. Anyway, she, like, talked that to the people at the Goldbergs, and they've hired me to play one of Beverly's friends. Right. And um, so that's what I've been doing. I did three episodes last season, and it looks like I'll be coming back the next season. Cool. So that's really exciting. And it's me and the actress Mindy Sterling, who's another right. groundling, who um, you remember her from Austin Powers. She played yeah. the German lady who's the girlfriend <laughs> right. of Mike Myers, the evil guy. Right. Yes, right. Right. yes. So she's me. She's so funny. And then there's another girl, um, Jennifer Irwin, who plays the other friend. And we, we play the um, the Goldberg girls as opposed to the Golden Girls. That's good. Oh, my I like God. That's I like funny. It. One of our listeners was asking if you were single. I said, leave her alone. She's very married. And heavily insured. <laughs> I'm very married. Heavily insured an impossible event. Um, yeah, I married. And I met my guy at the Groundlings. He, he's the lighting guy at the Groundlings. Oh, wow. He does oh, all wow. the lights and stuff. Yeah. So he's, that's really funny i would be dressed up as a so he's the light of your life he'd be backstage <laughs> yeah <laughs> wait what he's, he's the light of your life <laughs> oh my gosh he would love that oh my god he would he would see me dressed up as a character backstage he'd be like ma'am you have to leave you can't be here and i'm like no i'm a character <laughs> like, that's how, like, before we started dating so. i don't know i don't know why <laughs> stephanie but i i just I, I don't know why it's happening. Hopefully it'll happen soon. You need your own sitcom. Cause yeah, I, I would. Be cool. I could just imagine you having like a half-hour sitcom and us just laugh. Because you. <laughs> I know a couple people that have met you out in L.A. And they said you're the sweetest, nicest. And just how you act on the commercials is how you are in person. You're so vivacious oh, and bubbly. Thanks. But uh, we, we need a sitcom when you're in it. Well, knock on wood, man. That's um, I I I can see Wendy, who like she's you know the first build at the at the Goldbergs, and she's just she's incredible. Like it, she's such a great example of how to be sort of the the top lady on the set, and she's so giving and kind and everything like that. So I've had some really good you know examples of how to be, and I just want you know like when we shoot our stuff, and I just want everyone to have a great time. I especially want the guest actors to have right. a great day. You know what I mean, and have fun and feel right. like. They've had a great time. Right. We have another question. Yeah. So um, that, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, somebody wants to know, how do you like having the nerdy guy share the commercials with you? <laughs> <laughs> the nerdy guy. Okay, well, first of all, he is such, he's a really good friend of mine. Like, we had, we both had our kids within three months of each other. Aww. And when I was holding his new baby and I was pregnant, my little baby kicked his little baby through my belly. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, kicked her, he kicked her butt through my oh, belly. No. So I've known him for so long, and I couldn't imagine, like, working with, another person I love more like he's Aww. so fun and right. he's so funny so I like if, if it had to be someone man it, it'd have to be Jim Cashman who plays Jamie I just <laughs> love him wow. oh that's cool and Stephanie did you have any oh, idea I, that the character of Flo was going to blow up to what it is now no 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 I mean not at all it was really funny like I 
I booked the part. I'm like, I don't even think I could afford a haircut. So my hair was like one length. So it's crazy. <laughs> and then the night before that we sh- we shot, they were like, it was like seriously 1030 at night. And, and the stylist was like, oh, I'm going to cut bangs in your on your hair tomorrow. And I was just like, okay, <laughs> like free haircut, fine. And then they cut my ha- the hair and then they blew it out and they put on the makeup and then kept putting on makeup and kept putting it until the producer was like, okay, stop. That's enough makeup. That's fine. And then they put the name tag on me like, and they're like, we just decided this name is Flo, and here's your name tag. All right, let's go get them. And I was like, okay. Oh, wow. And then I would catch my reflection because I looked so different. I, mean, I was like, I jumped. I was like, oh, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> I looked completely different, you know? And it's crazy. So I had no idea that this would continue and last. I was so happy that first year when they were like, yeah, we want to shoot more this year. And then. And then I just put like half the money in an ING account. So I was like, I'm not going to touch this. That's <laughs> funny. Like, oh, that's ING. To me at the, at the retirement home. Yeah, you know what? That's that's a smart idea. Hey, Stephanie, yeah. I have I have an idea for your sitcom. This is what it is. You play a, okay. a, a character actress that does commercials, and every day you come home and you're dressed up as a different character. <laughs> <laughs> I do so many commercials, and each one's a different. Oh my gosh! I think I would legitimately lose my mind. I was like, I would love to. I would love to do like Flo's family as a sitcom one day. But then yeah. I was like, I would. I would be like. <laughs> I would pass out every day because oh. it's so crazy. Right. That, well, let me tell you something. If you ever did that or get somebody to do it, that would blow up in, in such huge proportions because let me tell you something. And I'm not knocking actors or what's on TV today because a lot of the stuff on TV is really like, wow. And I think that's just what we need. I'm so glad. Well, I'm going to pass the word over here in my town. I'm just going to be like, come on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's. But it is, I mean, it's so fun. I just, you know, the it changed my life for sure. You know, I was just um, so grateful to get the work. But it has been so much fun as well. And then I also do stuff at the Groundlings. So I feel like I feel like I get to play a lot. You know, at least a couple of times a week I get to, like, have a good time and laugh and play and, and play with my comedy friends. And it's, I, I'm really grateful for that. I, uh, I have a title. I have a title for a sitcom. What's it called? Oh not, my god! Oh my god! Yeah. Not only are you, not only you a character actress and you do and you do that kind of stuff and you come home, you're you're living with a guy because you're you're dating and it's called, the name of the show is Courting Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> How about following I flow? Think, no. You could sell that. Like you could just sell that as is right now with a title that you like that you can do it. Yeah, you know amazing. what? Yeah. It's it's just Paul's unofficial way of, of, of auditioning to be a writer on the show. <laughs> I don't want so, oh, no. <laughs> Stephanie, uh, what, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. What advice would you give someone who's trying to make it? Because I know you said you had no money and everything, and you just took a chance. So that's the answer. But, yeah. Uh, no, but what would she say? Like like well, for the younger before people that, that are, there had to be something that clicked. I would say there's a a good selfish element to it in that um, I hope you love what you do. So. You don't have to be good at 120 different things. Like, if you love, like, what I did, I loved comedy. I loved playing characters. So I found the places where I could learn the most about that. Right. Um, and um, so that's, you know, so the, I, I, you know, I, I sing, too, and I was always trying to become a singer in New York, but it just didn't work. It didn't, like, there's so many amazing singers in New York. For me, that didn't take off, and I was like, okay, so what? Just selfishly, what do I love to do? And I love to do comedy. Let me focus on that. And that was great because it was truly what made me happy. And I'm glad I did that. Um, another thing is uh, success and failure are hand in hand. Um, I, I think we're sold like what success is in this country. And and, um, and maybe that's not true for you or maybe something else is. And, and the fact that we live in sort of a Facebook world where people put up the best picture of themselves and stuff and right. there's this idea of like perfection and success that I don't think is real and um, just be true to what makes you happy you know right. um, and uh, and yeah. don't compare and despair too much that's right. what I, I always tell young comedians people starting out you tell them I always find your passion and go for it that's it go yeah. for your passion you gotta, yeah. be, you gotta be prepared and for praise and no, rejection yes oh my gosh copious amounts and then, which is kind of cool because you develop like a superpower. You develop like a Teflon where right. you're like, it's okay if I don't get this audition. Right, like, exactly. this is like the hundredth time I've auditioned for something. And, and that's cool. And then also, the more you audition or the more you do your stand-up or the more you write or whatever it is, you get fans in the business. You right. get maybe a casting director or a producer and they like you and they call you in more. And then suddenly your odds of getting a right. job are right. more. Yep. So it's not like... 
it's not all like you won the lottery or, or you're a loser. You know what I mean? There's, there's a lot of like real world work that builds up a reputation and a name right. and just like keep at it. That's right. Yeah, awesome. that's, that's a, a tremendous advice. And I, I couldn't, you know, I enjoyed talking to you so much because you're, I, you're already an icon. Yep. And I just oh, want you, you, yeah, I just want you to know that you have an open door anytime you want to come on the show. <laughs> if you have anything you want to promote. Oh, yeah. <laughs> on behalf of all of us Thank here on the network and all the troops overseas, you're, the response we're getting. Well, she's a big hit. I keep on getting. <laughs> yeah. We're, I mean, there's so many people uh, oh. typing in. And uh, God bless you, and the troops love you overseas. They just if a fellow New Yorker, we love thank you. you so yes, much. absolutely. Oh yes, and thank you, and please, um, thank you to the troops for all they do. Uh, we cannot repay what you do, and thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so thank much, you. Stephanie Courtney, everybody. Yeah. Yay. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Right, we're gonna take a short break. We'll be yeah. back with more show. Don't go anywhere. This is the Animal House.